are going to calibrate ability. So to do this, you go to the Proteus drop down menu here. You go down to calibrate, which brings up a list over here. And then you select the parameter that you want to calibrate. In this case, it will be Turb NTU. And then it will bring up this window here where you can type your first value of calibration fluid in here. So we're going to do a zero point first, so I'll put it in there first. It says here, type the value of your non-zero calibration standard. However, we're going to do zero first, so ignore that part. So we're going to fill the calibration cup up with the calibration fluid. So just unscrew it, press the Proteus on its side. And then with turbidity, um, you just need to use a fluid that has no turbidity in it. Before calibrating, um, you must always rinse. So we rinse in deionized water. So you just pour a small amount into the cup, take the cup, screw it onto the Proteus, and then shake it around to rinse all the sensors and make sure it's clean. And now we're going to fill up the calibration cup with the first calibration fluid. Um, with turbidity, you just need to use a fluid that has no level of turbidity. So in this case, we're going to use deionized water. You want to fill the cup up to about four centimeters below the top. It needs to cover the face of the turbidity sensor, so the big one in the middle. And then we screw it back down. We stand it upright. And then we go back to the software. I'm also going to turn the light off because as it's an optical sensor, it should be done in the dark. When the reading is stable, as you can see, there's a flat line here on the graph. It's not fluctuating by much at all. We just click OK and that will accept your first point of calibration. If you wish to calibrate your sensor at zero, click continue. Otherwise, click done. Click continue because it must be a two point calibration. You cannot do a single point. So our next level is going to be 100 NTU. So I'm going to put that in there first, and then we go back to the probe. So we need to empty the zero fluid. And here we have some stable cow that we've mixed up before. Um, we need to invert it. This is Formazin, stable cal, and it's the most reliable turbidity calibration fluid available at the moment. So invert it gently, don't shake it, otherwise you will introduce air bubbles and that can also interfere with the signal. And then again, we need to rinse it first in the fluid that we're going to use. So a small amount of turbidity fluid in there. Rinse it around the sensors. Invert it again, just gently. Want to fill it up to the same point as we did with the zero point, and then screw the calibration cut back on. Just invert it once gently, just for good measure. There we go, and we go back to the software now. As you can see, it's reading 90.77, it's fairly stable. It's starting to settle out just a little bit. So what I'm gonna do quickly is just invert it one more time. You'll see the reading rise again. And we're just gonna okay that. There we go, it's calibrated now to 100 NTU. If we then go onto the Proteus menu and click on calibration log, I'll put that full screen. We can then see all the calibrations this unit has had before. So you'll see there's the serial number of the turbidity sensor next to where it says what sensor it is. Um, you've got the units that it's in. You've got what your old value was and you see the new value, old value to new value, 
then you've got your SRF, which stands for Sensor Response Factor. The closer to 100 it is, the better. This one is 100, perfectly good. And that is your stability sensor calibrated.